Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I haven't been around for a while. I had a show last weekend. I had a cold last weekend. And I had company last weekend. <laughs> it was a busy weekend. But I had a lot of fun with my family and friends from Canada and Michigan. Uh, my, my cousin Bridget and her friend Lori, we got to do a little paint party, which was a ton of fun and they took their things home with them so it was it was a lot of fun it was a private party so tonight we are i actually i tried something last night and it did not work out um i had made up i had some a bunch of different pearl pour mixes that i had mixed up over the past couple months and i tried to mush them all together and it didn't work <laughs> So this is the 2019 formula. Um, I do have a bottle or two of that left from uh, donated from a very good friend of mine. I'm gonna be working on an Artist Loft Gallery Wrapped Level Two Ultra Smooth Canvas. These are really good for the pearl pores. I've already gone ahead and prepped my sides, my edges, my backs, everything's prepped. So I have, this cup here and I found that when I mixed up my um, my mix it was still a little thick in that great big container so I put it in this container add a little bit more water sometimes you have to play around with your mix you know it doesn't come out right every time and uh, you just gotta you know play around with it and uh, just do a couple of test tiles and you're golden so, um, gosh, I had a very successful show over the weekend. It was the Dania Arts and Seafood Festival. Very cool. Actually, it was very hot. <laughs> Threatened rain all weekend long. You no, know, I prayed to the, the sun gods or whatever. Um, well, God, God. And uh, <laughs> it turned out to be a beautiful day both days. No rain, absolutely no rain. Um, so what we want to do is do a vertical tilt to make sure that we've got enough of that base paint off. Make sure that it's very, it's thin enough too. It's kind of a delicate blend balance, you know. If you get it too thick, you don't get enough cells. If you get it too thin, then your cells don't hold. It's, I have the recipe, I'm going to put it in the description. It seems to be a no-fail recipe for me. It works almost every time. So what we have here is <clears throat> Modern Masters. This is iridescent pearl with a little bit of titanium white. Actually, I need to put a little bit more titanium white. What happens with this? <clears throat> if you have a sheer color or transparent color, you do want to add a little bit of something that is opaque to it because the pearl pores really like the opaque colors. And as far as metallics are concerned, Modern Masters works really well. Not so much anything else, I don't know. It's, I mean, I've tried all different kinds of um, ones before and they just don't work really well. This is Amsterdam, uh, do, 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 do. it's right here. Amsterdam Naples Yellow Red Light. And it's very, very thin. This is Quinacridone Nicolet's Gold with some Modern Masters in Burnt Orange. Oh, I think I saw a clump there. Oh no, where did it go? Well, I'm sure we'll find it soon enough. I mixed these up last night, so. Now this is a whole bunch of colors. This is Quinacridone um, Magenta. And then I just fudged around with it and added, kept adding stuff to it. But I, in the end, I added a little bit of doo -doo -doo, cadmium yellow to it, just to give it a little bit of tinge of orange so that it goes a little bit better with the Quinacridone Nicolais. Oh, this is a combination of Lucas Krill, Prussian Blue, and some, oh, Lucas Krill, Phthalo Blue. Really pretty color. And this is Bone Black by Golden. And this is also mixed with 
golden paint spray. Meow, I can hear you over there. So we are going to put our colors down. I'm going to try and be very frugal with my colors. <laughs> we know how that goes. So here we go. Hi, Finny. I'm gonna put this down over top of it. Kind of around it. And then the Cronacodon. Whoa, Wilbur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I always like the magenta next to Cronacodon Nicolay's Gold. It's such a pretty combination. Now, I'm gonna be putting a lot of blue and black down. I'm gonna put the black right over the magenta. For some reason, it gets swallowed up quite a bit. And there we go. That's it for the blue. So let's tilt this baby. Oh, let's torch it first. Do, 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 do. Torch, torch, torch. All right. It's just gorgeous next to these colors. Tilting a lot of paint off. Stretch, stretch, stretch. <clears throat> we want to get lots of pearls. And now I'm going to come back the other way. And I'm doing the vertical tilt. Sounds like it should be a dance or something, the vertical tilt. And I'm pulling all those colors down. I'm getting some pearls in there, so I want to sort of kind of want to stop soon, but there's a lot of paint on here still. Pull it over this way and then back. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty, I think. <laughs> I think. All right. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go too much further because these are gonna get all wonked up. So when you have a situation like that, when it's getting kind of wonky, that's when you can take your palette knife and um, work your magic with it. So what I am going to do right now is give it a torch put it on time lapse and let you guys watch the show. Let me see, I gotta make sure you're centered there. All right, where's my torch? I just had it. There it is. Ta-da. All right, I'll see you guys in a few.
guys. Wow. <laughs> pearls and pearls and pearls. Now, I added that uh, high flow iridescent gold. And what it's doing is it's pushing the other cells or the other pearls together, which isn't a horrible thing. Um, I really do like that these um, pearls have different colors in them. Um, the mix might be a, just a tad strong, but uh, overall I really like it. And that magenta mixed with the Quinacridone Nicolaise of Gold turned out so pretty. Oh, see, I thought I was, <laughs> thought I was mistaken putting that in, but I don't think so now that I'm looking at it up close. So anyhow, glad to be back. Glad to be getting color on the canvas. And I am going to be having a collaboration in the very near future with one of my absolute favorite artists. And um, yeah, we'll keep it a secret for now, but uh, looking forward to that. She is awesome. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Please be safe and create. Please like, share and subscribe. Ciao for now. All of my artwork is available for sale. If you'd like to purchase anything, please um, email me at jcfluidart at gmail.com. Talk to you soon. Ciao for now.